As the world grapples with damaging energy practices that have brought the world to the brink of catastrophe, this global moment is, ironically, Africa's moment to lead. Faced with the real threat of losing her pristine landscapes and biodiversity, Africa is leapfrogging into a new era of sustainable development. The Worldwide Fund for Nature is helping Africa to steer the course through a transboundary education program known as Education for Sustainable Development or simply ESD. Teachers are trained to use practical outdoor activities to explain abstract concepts such as soil erosion, energy crisis and nature conservation to enrich children's knowledge and conservation skills. It is not uh, going to be now a school initiating it. It is now the government which is taking it up and initiating it in all the schools. Over 54,000 school children in 59 schools across the region are learning and practicing sound environmental management practices through the ESD program. In Kibos Prison Primary School, we have a garden which is behind the classes, planting vegetables like the cowpeas and, the, and some traditional vegetables. After, when, the, when it comes in harvesting, you are going to harvest and sell them to the teachers or outside there in the market. And as the new generation of environmental ambassadors grows, at home, their parents and neighbors are learning how to reduce stress on an already brittle planet through a parallel concept of sustainable villages. At least nine ESD villages have sprung up across East Africa, where clean energy is not only replacing traditional energy sources, but also lighting up villages that had never before accessed electricity. Community-led greening initiatives such as establishment of tree nurseries, planting and caring for seedlings and controlling soil erosion have taken off in various parts of the region. Women, however, are the biggest beneficiaries of the environment-friendly technologies. Not only do they make household chores lighter, they are also a new source of income. The vision for the ESD program is actually to build the capacity of the communities and the stakeholders present in the areas that we are operating in, in the landscapes, in the priority landscapes that WWF is working in, such that these people have the capacity to actually conserve the environment and also to pursue sustainable livelihoods. To further bolster the program, WWF is building capacity among the region's youth to drive the process of sustainable development through the Pan-African Youth Strategy. And with guaranteed sources of income, some of the youth who were previously deprived of income can now give orphaned and vulnerable children a chance at a good life. In the design of future programs, it's very important to have sufficient consultation to create ownership, shared vision, and think very carefully about the sustainability and how long that all of that will take in order for us to have durable change.